Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shem, Hashem, Aruch, Adrash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great men, sons, hearts, is truth. Peace and blessings of the holy elect, the 144,000 men pushing the truth, the whole heart of sincerity, plus the four ones. It's the Akai Cobb with the GMS Germany camp. Back with another lesson through the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. So, and with that, let's get into it. This is Galatians 4 and 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Okay, so the truth is the scriptures. And when you start to profess this word into this world, and you start to believe wholeheartedly in this word, it goes against the customs, the traditions, the belief systems of this world, of, of this current uh, queendom. You know, I say queendom because Esau has set the woman up over him and his kingdom. You know, queens rule everything. You know, the the queen in, in Esau's kingdom ruler, man. You know, the woman, the woman, what she says goes, you know. And, and Esau likes to put the woman above him. You know, and be in subjection to the woman. But anyways, in this in in this truth, in this world, you're gonna be hated because you're doing something that is seen crazy or or or, or uh, I guess you could say ostentatious, but but uh, unbelievable. You know, when you stand up and say you're a man, you know, and you conduct yourself in a manly manner, you know, you have toxic man masculinity. The label of a toxic toxic masculinity thrown on you you know it's okay for a, a woman to act like a man it's okay for a transgender woman to act like a man or, or a, 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 a female that wants to be a man to act like a man but when a man acts like a man in this kingdom it goes against what they believe you know you, you you're, you're oppressing other nation other other genders you know or, or, for example, you know, uh, gender fluidity. You know, you can change your gender at your will, and you, you can have uh, the pronouns us and they, or she and, uh, uh, and, and they. You know, and this this place is, is completely upside down. And this this is the leveling field. This is the the balancing. You know. And when you, uh, 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 it's it's like, it's it's funny because it's the truth, man. From our archives, the Billy Graham Classic. It's like, yeah. As a precept, it says as if you wake them as as they it's like they they're asleep. You know, I can't think of it right now. It's like yeah. Because it's like they they don't like to get woken up, you know, they don't want to be awakened. You know, but I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm going to find it. But it's like they are asleep and they don't want to be awake, awakened, man. They don't want to be told what's going on. They don't want that, man. They want to remain in the state of darkness. This is John chapter 8. But the point of this lesson is that 
When you're in this truth, you're going to be hated. You're going to be disrespected. This truth is a challenge. It's, it's not an easy walk in the park. You know, not only are you fighting entities that are not seen, you are fighting entities that are seen. And when I say that your family, your friends, your job, your coworkers, you know, or, or going through your day to day, you know, having to conduct yourself around these these other nations, you know, and 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 having the word get out about you that you're a radicalist or you're extremist or you 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 are, you know. And when you think about it. To be a radicalist, to be extremist about Yahweh Shai is is nothing short of, 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 uh, how can I say, nothing short of. That's the easy service for us. That's what I'm trying to say. It should be nothing for us to be uh, extremists for him. But to be to be labeled an extremist in this in in this society is a, is a is a horrible thing, you know. But uh, let's just. Keep going. This is uh, John chapter 8, verse 29. And he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not let me alone, for I do always those things that please him. You see? And what we have to understand is we must do things that's pleasing unto the Most High, which is being hated as him. You know? The scriptures say, if, if they hated me, they if they hated me, they're gonna hate you too. You know, is the servant greater than the master? No. So, if they hate you, they hate me. If they hate me, they hate you. Simple. They hated Yahweh Shai when he was on the scene. They wanted to put him to death many times. You know, and even people of Israel wanted that. So, if our own people wanted to put him to death along with these other nations. You know, how much more are we going to be hated in a, in, a, in, a, in a time where our nationality is not even being declared? You know, our true heritage has been taken away. You know, so. Of course, this truth is not going to be easy, but we got to fight, man. We got to fight every day. You got to loose up your bootstraps, you know, one boot at a time. And 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 be positive and pray pray and fast and and stay in the in the in the presence of the Lord because that's where we're gonna be be safe. That's how we're gonna be safe. Having faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, believing that He's gonna wash away everything that you've done, and that He He is there for you. You know. This is Revel uh, First Peter, chapter two, and verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth, forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness and to his marvelous light. That's a beautiful precept, man. You know, it's a... Okay, let me keep reading. Which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of the Most High which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. You see, so since we've obtained mercy, now we should we should uh, sing praises among, uh, among our beds, you know. Cry aloud, spare not. These are all commandments that the Lord told us to do. But what I'm saying is, uh, we, we we must, I was just reading the precept there. This is uh, 1 Peter 1 and 20, you know. Who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you? Who by him do believe in the Most High that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory and your faith and hope might be in the most high. You see, so <laughs> and and the thing about it is is this 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 word was to bring us back unto our heritage, man. Yahweh Shai came on the scene for us to be able to under, break down these scriptures in these last days. He he made that sacrifice for us to be able to profess 
these words in the last days in order for his his elect to do his work in the last days for his remnant you know without Yahweh Shai, we wouldn't have the truth honestly because it was because of him he he is the intercessor between me I said between me between us and the most high Yahweh he's a mediator he's your lawyer he's your counsel to go you know and, and and it's a it's it's a beautiful thing because Esau has his lawyers, you know, to protect him, you know, and and so for so long Jake has had no lawyer. Jake had to have public defenders and people given to them as the, as their intercessor, as their their mentor, their mediator. And now the Lord has given us back our our true heritage through His only begotten Son. So this truth is going to, it's, it's not going to be easy for you to walk in this, in this truth. Because this world is wicked. This world is contrary to what the scriptures say. Okay. So let's go to Isaiah 25, verse 7. Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. And how did he do that? How did he destroy the veil that has been put over all nations? Okay, the covering cast over all people through his prophets. Okay. Hold on, it's a precept. I was thinking about it. Let me look it up right quick. Chapter 1 to 7. Let me look at it right quick. Okay, so this is this is um Luke chapter 1 and verse 69, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant Davada, David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Okay? So, by as he spake by the holy mouth, by as he spake, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, okay, which, which have been since the world began. So, he's always used men on the earth to bring out this word. Okay, uh, if there's if there's a prophet among you, I know there's a precept. Yes, Numbers twelve verse six. He said, hear me now, if there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision, and I will speak and will speak unto him in a dream. You see, so the Lord, he talks through, through the prophets, all right? And whether you can take it or understand it, that the men of the Lord are his prophets, 
especially in these last days. Okay. So let's go to uh, Luke. Hold on. Luke 8 and 17. So the Lord speak, speaks through his prophets, man. And if they hated the Lord, this damn sure for hate you. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Take heed, therefore, how ye hear. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and whosoever hath not from him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have. So the point I'm trying to bring out here is for there is nothing secret. And this secret has been the best step, best, the nationality of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans have been kept secret for so long, so well. Esau has done, and these other nations have done such a great job keep, keeping young minded Israelites, young Israelites from the, who they really are. They've done it so well. But there's nothing that's secret. It's not going to be. Uh, it's not going to come out. Okay. So we see through the spirit and probably how by Shemir Oshai, he's working in these last days, man. He's bringing the. He's bringing men back into his fold. He's giving men faith, unwavering faith. You know, steadfast faith and courage and belief in him. Why? Because this this truth must be professed into all the world, and then the end shall come. Okay, it's pursuant to Matthew 24 and 14. All right. And once, and 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 the truth has been professed unto all nations, honestly, you know. So let's get to the last couple of precepts. This is John chapter 20 and verse 29. And they've done a great job, man. They've done a great job of hide, hiding the truth from, uh, from young Jake, man. And Yahweh said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and have yet believed. See, so we haven't seen Yahweh but we believe because the Lord has blessed us. You know, that's a blessing in itself. To have faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and I see him to not be like these beasts on this earth, man. To not be like the man who needs to see it to believe it. You know, to see to see the fullness and the strength and the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and the most minuscule things in his creation. And and when you look at it, the things that the Lord has created, he's he, he amazes me every day, man. The Lord amazes me every day with with noticing his his power the things that he created glass wood <laughs> heat cold you know water light how he can bend and sound and your ears and your, your nose your nose man think about it your nose takes in air uh, breaks and your mind breaks down what this is it's apple pineapple Mango, uh, blueberries, strawberries. You, you, you can smell something and know what it is and visualize it in your mind. And you know, Esau's witchcraft can't even be on the level of, of the Lord's creation of the mind, man, the brain. And it's a beautiful experience to understand his, his fullness and his power, his omnipotency, man. Okay? So... I'm, I'm saying all of these things to just to show you that this truth is bigger than what we believe, you know, it's, 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 it's a most important, it's a very, yeah, it is the most important thing in this, in this world, in these last days. Okay. To have the, the to be in the service of the most high in these last days is a, is a, is a, is a gift, honestly. So this is Hebrews chapter four and verse 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharp, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of asunder of soul and spirit, 
and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You see? So this word is the discerner of the intents of the heart. Okay? It it is it, it it let's let's look at the word discerner. All right, so I guess I don't want to go off. Perceive or recognize the difference or distinction between. Also, distinguish an object with the eyes. See distinctly. Behold. Also, to perceive rationally. Understand. You see, and it just says, it says a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Okay, discerner of the thoughts and intents. So it tells you if the person is carnal or free spiritual. It tells you the intents of your mind and what you what you want. You know, do you want to be of this world or do you want to be of the how about Shimeo and Shai? This truth is going to show you that. These words are going to show you that. And like I said, amongst learning and figuring out, you know, okay, <laughs> let me get the precept. Mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes one and eighteen. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increases sorrow. You see? So the more you understand, the more the knowledge you gain, the more you see just how the Lord was hot with anger against us, just how you see wicked these heathen nations are and, the, and at the lengths that they will go to keep us in the dark. And that the lengths that they will go to persecute prejudice, to pre persecute, destroy, and, and utterly keep in captivity forever if they could of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And that's how you see we need Yahweh Shai, man. We need Yahweh Shai. There's no way out of this. There is no other way out of what we in. There isn't. No, nobody's gonna save us from the hands of Esau, Edom, these hands of the Ishmaelites, these hands of these, these Cushites, these Hamites. Nobody's gonna save us from, from any of no man on this earth is gonna stand up and take take us out of the hand of these people. We we need Yahweh Shai. So follow him, even though the lot the lot may be difficult. The Lord will not test you on something that you cannot pass. Okay? Until next time, Shalom.